Kibabi University yesterday released a memo directing all for the years that they will be sitting for the examination uh, on uh, 15 this month. And first year and second year, they, uh, they have to sit the examination next year. Uh, remember that the dawn strike is on, but Kibabi University has been uh, teaching their students. And our reporter Kevin Nyariki was on the ground. There's the Af Aruko of Monwat Nyariki prepared for us. The directive by the management for four years to sit for the examination day that is month has triggered different views among the four years. Some supporting the, the move to sit for the examination day that is month. Others are arguing out that they have been covered the content they needed to cover. I'm Nyari Kevin Moranga just was this I've compiled for you. Um Kurgat, David Fudia, class of technology. Uh, I'm ready for the exams because I've prepared and as a Fudia because I know that uh, it is the, the hard work of a student to look for the 75% and for the lecturer to just over 25%. So I feel that uh, what the lecturers have given us is enough, though due to some contemporary issues which we have to understand as students. And this is my advice to all Congress that they should understand that there is time for everything. And when it is the time for exams, they have at least to pull up their socks and they do their exams. I, Ireli Wallen, a criminology student, fourth year. Uh, I think it's the high time that the fourth years realize they are almost leaving the school and they should proceed to do the exams on 15th as it is scheduled. You never know, next semester there, sh there could be calamities. Maybe there could be a calamity that the school that could make the school close and that would make us even stay here for long. Yeah, I'm Makao Jimmy, a dear student, taking criminology and criminal justice. My take concerning exam is that uh, we do exams. Considering past events, past decisions by the university, we as students uh, to some extent, we can blame the Senate for their poor decision when it comes to issue to do attachment. Uh, bear in mind, we, we went home in June and there was good time for us to, to go for attachment for three months. The months were there. And yet, since we never went, it's not our problem, it's not our mistake. So, my take is this. Uh, come 15, all for the years, I had them. We do exam, come January we proceed for attachment, then we back here on May, we end our semester, and the final semester is for the years. Consequences of, of not doing exam in 15. Uh, if we don't do exam on 15, that means we come here on May, and we don't know what will happen in, not in May, we come here on January, and we don't know what will happen. Remember, the, the dawn's strike is still on, and we don't know if they'll, be, they'll end up the strike and soon. So, I request and hide you for the years. We do exam on 15th, we proceed for attachment January, then we resume on May, we finish university. Uh, with current political situation in Kenya, which is very uh, not predictable, like for instance, on 12th, the NASA coalition is, is promising to swear him. They are people's president. We don't know what will happen in Western. Maybe the 15th, the date we assume and we do exam, won't come. Why? Due to political tension. So these are some of the factors we as students should be considering for us to do the exam on the 15th. Hello? That is the views of Kibab University for the students. Tomorrow I'm told they have a meeting with the Vice-Chancellor. Let's wait and see if they will be coming for this room for examination later next month. I'm Nyarik Kevin Moranga for SYN Channel. The win for Man United as they were on Emirates against Arsenal. Katia Man United and I'm joined by a sports analyst Kevin, Kevin Kioni. Kevin Kioni, welcome to our studio. Thank you, thank you Kevin. Do you think Manchester United served a win? Yeah, I think concerning and uh, even seeing the mistake that Arsenal did in the game, yeah. Manchester looked like the most organized team in the first 20 minutes of the game, so they deserved that win. Manchester United scored two goals within the first 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that uh, Manchester United have the first 
uh, have the best or striking forces? I, I don't think it's about the striking forces that Manchester possesses. Yes, it have best good attackers in the form of Lukaku, Lingard and Marshu. But if you look at the goals keenly, they were out of the mistakes that Arsenal did. So you punished Arsenal from the mistake that they but did. But someone can argue out that they scored uh, in midweek against Watford three days before they made Arsenal. Mm. Three goals in 20 minutes. And now they scored two goals in 10 minutes. What does that show you as a sports analyst? As I said earlier, Manchester has got quality in the players it has in the attacking option. But also, they capitalize on the mistake that other teams have. But Manchester has got the quality to deliver. Do you think Manchester United are title contenders at the, the moment? Of course, they are title contenders. Con, con, uh, if you look at Manchester City at the helm of the league, yeah. they are just nine points ahead of Manchester. So anything can happen through this busy schedule of December. Uh, uh, Ashley Young has been on fine, uh, a good form uh, recently. Yes. He was awarded man of the match or uh, game of, on Watford. Yesterday it was awarded uh, to Lin Jesse Lingard, mm -hmm. but the gear made several cents. Do you think Lingard uh, deserved that, being man of the match against Arsenal? Okay, if you look at the goals he scored, the young guy has been very impressive in the recent games that he has played. He has even scored three goals in two games. So, in Arsenal game, he scored two. Remembering he, he's just a, a young guy of age, but if you look at the save that also De Gea deserved, he, that's his work in the first place. It's his place to make sure that goals do not go in, but he did an, a remarkable job, but Lingard, I give him the man of the match. Uh, Lingard, man of the match. Yes, he deserved, it. He deserved man of the match. Yeah. Good. Do you think Ashley Young, uh, the likes of Smalling and Lingard, will England in the World Cup 2016? Well, if you look at the World, the World Cup, is a star-studded event. So, looking at the score that England possesses, the like of Rashford, Henderson, and all those, yeah, that's a different event. Because if you look at the Bra Brazil, Germany, France, they also have stars. But so, I, as I said earlier, football is all about capitalizing on the mistake of your opponent. You are take Manchester United welcome Manchester City on on Sunday mm -hmm. on Old Trafford. You are take about Manchester derby. That's a very interesting encounter that we are going to see coming weekend. And unless there are any injuries, uh, remembering that Pogba was shown a direct uh, record, yeah, yeah, meaning yeah. he's going to miss that important clash. But Manchester have said that we will appeal that on Thursday. Okay, we are not sure if the red card will be removed or he will still miss that clash. But considering that the, the two teams of late, remembering Manchester City has not lost a single game since the league started. They have been in the best form ever. And Manchester United have also been in a good run since losing to Chelsea. They have not lost a single match. And they so, have a 100% win at Old Trafford. At Old Trafford. And they are welcoming Marouane Ferrain back the, the, the squad. So I think it's going, a, it's going to be an interesting encounter. Remembering also Manchester United is being headed by Jose Mourinho. And on the other hand, Pep Guardiola. So the rivalry is going to be there. But I see an interesting encounter. May the best in me. May the best of you team me. Yeah. It will be an interesting fire on fire on Sunday or at Old Trafford. Just a our look on Manchester United goals against Arsenal. I've been your sports anchor, Nyariki Kevin. Abaruk. <laughs>